Okay, so today the garage coming down halfway and stopped. So today I want to talk about all of the sensors. All the garage have two sensors. The one that is detecting that is closed. So they use the magnet and the magnet will touch each other and sends the signal to the motor and the motor will stop or keep going the same as when it's open the magnet will move to the sensor and when the two magnets touches each other, it will stop. So, when it's open, you get to there and it stop. You get a sense that the magnet touches each other. The same as when this one's moving, when it's close to the garage, so now, beside that, they have the safety closing or opening. So they use infrared or laser LED, depends on the sensor. So each side has one. And as long as nothing is in between or cover, then it will work. So today, because the charging system, there's a cable there, and when we move it out to charge the car, and it's hitting the sensor, and it make it loose, so it pointed down, so now I fix it to make sure that it pointed straight. So when the sensor is pointed down to the ground, or not seeing the other, it will not work, it will not let the motor to close or open. So that's why whenever we work on the garage, with the, on the car with the garage, it would block something. The garage will not be accidentally closed. The motor will not push it. So now, talking about emergency, when the, we have no electricity, we want to open the garage, we just pull this. There's a disengage from the motor, and then we can push it all the way up because the spring will help us to push it open. The same as if we want to close it. So whenever we're done closing it, we want to engage with the motor again. All we need to do is to push it up. And it will click into one of the teeth. And then it's not working again when the electricity 